Hello, I'm Catherine Story. I'm a fashion designer for 25 plus years and I have been asked over the years, um, mentored a lot of different um, up and coming designers or artists and discussed a lot of the different ways to elevate your brand. So although the book is called Artistic Rebel, How to Elevate Your Five Steps on Elevating Your Fashion Brand, you know, this could be the brand, this could be your brand, this could be you, this could be your art, this could be anything that identifies you. If This just could be you as a human, how to elevate yourself, you know. So we're on the chapter, chapter of marketing, and um, sounds funny to think that you're marketing yourself, but if you're going to look for a job, you're marketing yourself. Um, if you're selling anything even for somebody else, you're marketing yourself because you are, your, your image is what's selling whatever it is you're selling. And it's not all about making money, but it is about being the conduit for what it is your purpose in life. Now that might be heavy for some of you, but um, you know, we, we need to stand and grow. That's what human nature is. That's why we always want more. and beautiful girls that didn't know how to stand that didn't know how, what side how to look at the camera so just because you're pretty doesn't mean you can be a model sorry it's work it's a job it's a profession and you know those girls work hard to get the money that they get Photographer, same thing. Do you like his better look at it, what he's done? Because he's your eye. He's seeing what you can't see. And a lot of times in a fashion shoot or a photo shoot, you get so like taken away with all the energy and so much. And the model, blah, 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 blah. like you miss a bunch of shoots, and that happens even now with me. I'll be like, damn, we didn't get that. Why did we get that? So, that's a whole other. I need to put that in another book, because that's another, you know learning experience that, like I said, even knowing the things I know, every shoot I always learn more. So, again, back to campaigns, why, look at Look for a magazine. Why do you like that person's campaign? And how does that relate to you? A lot of times I'll do, they used to call it tear sheets. Tear sheets were when you would just rip them out of the magazine and keep them. Now, you know, we don't have so many great magazines. Yeah, there's a few, but, um, so now it's just saving photos on the computer. And, you know, I'll save everything from ideas for, um, something I want to design. Also, I save, like, um, how the model's sitting. 
how she's sitting or how he's sitting, how um, what's in the background, um, what's the angle, you know, and then I can pull those out. you the world needs you to be you and you know so don't be try to be somebody else be you be inspired by others get on your Instagram post those pictures start talking to the camera don't be afraid nobody's looking at you they're looking they're thinking about themselves and if anybody that would say anything negative about anybody else on camera isn't doesn't have something inside that isn't good you know and so just bless them and move on we're way too big to be afraid and we're way of being in front of the camera and of what other people think and we're way too big to be criticizing others for for their dreams so i hope you find some value in this and um like and subscribe for more we just keep on keeping on all right thank you ciao